Hey, okay. We've got our front hub. And we've got all these holes drilled through. Um, the scooter for the bolt to go through. I've got the front T, the handlebar. Let's assemble it. Hey, it's a pretty simple assembly. Uh, we slot this all the way down, align the hole. Put the bolt through. Put the line lock and we repeat it for the handlebar up top as well. Um, one thing to note that we did for the handlebar is like you gotta imagine when you're using this the handlebar is at a 90 degree it's perpendicular to the actual wheel itself so when we drilled those holes up front we just had to make sure that it was well perpendicular otherwise we're gonna <laughs> install the handlebars and they're gonna be at like a 45 degree and it's gonna totally just screw up your orientation when you're actually using this so I'm gonna assemble it, I'm gonna show you the finished thing, and yeah. Okay, in actuality, could probably use shorter bolts, it'd probably help. Nah, I wanted to standardize all the parts, so um, we only have three different bolt sizes. Makes it a little easier to handle, I guess. Okay, to the handle. That was a tight fit. Okay, yeah. Could have definitely used shorter bolts. Okay, it's in, the bolts are a little long. It's not the most perpendicular. I probably didn't have to drill it super straight, but it'll get the job done. Okay, the last part, we've got the tail. We've got this guy and I just have to chop this down. Kind of gives you a sense. Uh, this is way too long. Like we're probably gonna go for like, probably gonna shut it down to like there. Yeah. Okay, I skipped all that B-roll. I have, I have the scooter actually finished right here. Look, it's, it's done. Uh, okay, a couple of first observations. It works. The middle of the deck is a little springy. Um, and I think I know what the problem is. So the bottom here, this aluminum V or L channel, that's not actually anchored. It's just floating in there. So I'm not gonna do it to this revision. I'm just it's what it is. We're gonna we're gonna do a test on that. And then um, and then it, it should work. Up. It, yeah, it should work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of be all of me trying this thing out. Uh, we're gonna just zip down the warehouse and uh, yeah, maybe I'll give my final thoughts about this design and you know, if we find some time to redesign it, we'll, we'll redesign it. So let me change the angle. All right, I guess scooter test one. It's a little dark here, but that's the biggest space we have. So let's go. Okay, this works. Okay, so yeah, the board is a little springy in the middle. Um, if I was to do it again, I'd probably bolt those things down, but well, it works.
Okay, so probably scooters aren't the best place to be using, uh, I mean, in a warehouse, but we'll probably take the final test outside when it's sunny. I'm gonna go back to the studio space, so in a sec. Okay, um, scooter's done. At least version one of it uh, for now. The deck is probably a little too long and I probably wouldn't use MDF. Probably go for a little bit of a stiffer material that probably prevent all the deflection that I'm seeing. The second part is probably bolting that center brace down so that the front, I'm gonna call it hub, and the back wheels are well connected. The, the play is all coming from that. But otherwise it works. I mean, there's a little bit of play. Like, there, that needs a bearing. That's, that's, that's what it needs. And I mean, I can probably get through, you know, all that. But the fact that it doesn't have a bearing, it's worked. The fact that we can do proper turns on it just with some silicone lubrication, that's pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, this was about, what is it? Like two, maybe an hour and a half worth of just design work in, in SolidWorks. That's what I'm familiar with. I mean, keep in mind though, that that's a $5,000 software package. It's not a Tinkercad by any means, and it's definitely more complex. So I think I have a bit of an edge on the design side, but I mean, use the software that you're most comfortable with at the end of the day. I think my part is done for now. I gotta sync up with Andy and oh, maybe try his scooter out. We'll see what happens when he stands on this one. Okay, uh, I'll circle back. Next time you'll see me, we'll probably be with Andy and scene, so. See ya. So, so I'm actually downstairs right now and um, Eugene is actually testing his uh, scooter right now and see how he's doing. Oh damn, it, it looks like it works. And and mine's um, kind of in pieces right now. So hey guys, I'm sure we all just witnessed that uh, Eugene's scooter is complete and it seems to be working pretty well. And while mine testing turned into this, where it snapped. So now I have a broken scooter and Eugene's looking pretty well off on his. Um, I guess this is back to the drawing board for me and um, there are some stuff that I'll have to change. I feel like um, with this previous design that there was a lot of geometric shapes that I had to put in together in Tinkercad. Maybe that was making it a bit too complicated. Um, and, and then I got the dimensions wrong here, so I had to sand. Uh, so a couple iterations, I mean, not a couple iterations, but the, when I go back to Tinkercad, I probably have to adjust the rod length right here. I mean, the, the circumference of the whole circle. I probably get rid of the square at the bottom because uh, that also was preventing the scooter from turning. That's why, that's why I had to uh, Dremel it off. Um, underneath here seems to be pretty good, pretty sturdy. It didn't give or anything when I was uh, putting weight on it. Um, so maybe I'll change it into a more simple shape with just a something that looks like holds the wheel and then just a simple circle and then um, an even longer rod and a, and a deeper rod where I can put my rod, uh, the, the aluminum extrusion in, into here so it doesn't snap off um, right here which is sitting at half where the previous one snapped. But yeah, I uh, hope that uh, the, the second iteration would actually work and um, catch up to Eugene. Um, his looks pretty sturdy from what I was uh, 
uh, peaking at last night. So yeah, let's get back to work. Okay guys, so I finished 3D printing my new part. As you can see here, um, it's a lot more simple than the first part. Less geometric shapes, just uh, majority just two. Um, and compared to it, I've taken away um, the bottom. So it's completely circular now. So nothing actually prohibits it from turning. So that, that's a change that I did in my design. As you can see, totally simplified it. And also printed this with like four walls and a really high density. I think I, I made it very dense. Um, and so this piece already feels a lot sturdier than this piece right here. Uh, now we'll just transfer over the wheel then. So right now, after putting it in everything back together, putting this back into a wedge fit, it seems a lot more sturdy now. But one thing difference is I changed the circumference of uh, the print that I did. Because originally, I'm sure everyone saw that this, this was too thick and it wouldn't turn or it would be super hard to turn. And also the bottom where um, I had to dremel off because it wouldn't turn. But anyway, back to here is I actually adjusted the size to make it um, thinner. So now I'm faced with a dilemma where now it's too wobbly. So I, don't, I actually don't, I have an idea on how to fix it, but I don't know whether or not it'll work. Um, so right now I can either just leave it as it is and tell Eugene there's just two modes to my scooter, which one is laid back, which you pull it back and then that's how you how you ride it or there's one where you're like standing upright and um, riding it this way uh, but I am going to attempt to actually try to fix it with what I have in mind so first I'll take this off and this is what I have in mind I'm going to use some uh, fiberglass insulation and tape it around here and use Kapton tape to tape it around and hopefully that will be enough cushion for it to compensate for the uh, thinner rod now. So I'm gonna try it out. So with this, this done, we can try it out and see whether or not it works. Whether or not my plan works. Mm. It's a lot more sturdy now. Um, I don't know whether or not this will be too tight now, but uh, I'll put on the handles again and we'll test right it and see whether or not it works. Let's see. So, okay guys, uh, I put the handle on and everything and now uh, uh, it actually isn't too bad anymore. Well, it's worse than it was before. So I'm just gonna try it out and hopefully this time it's, it's pretty good. So let's see how it goes.
So definitely still a bit hard to turn. Um, I'm gonna turn my whole way on it. Uh, maybe do a couple more. So it does work. Um, it's a bit wonky when it's trying to turn. So right now, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> I'll just have to turn in my body then and see how it compares to your jeans. Even though I did see how well things were going. But we'll, we'll see, I, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Well guys, we're back and we both have finished our scooters as you guys probably saw the progress earlier uh, on how we got here. So, yeah. Very different approaches, <laughs> I think. I mean, we're looking at the two of them right now. We rolled a bit of B-roll just a little bit before this mm -hmm. uh, to yep. show you guys the finish good. And yeah, I mean, Andy and I took very different approaches. Different approaches. Well, um, you know, like little things. I didn't bother designing a handle. I no, mean, and then mine, you did. mine is a detachable handle, as you can see. Simple. I don't know, I don't know how safe that is. <laughs> um, but very different approach. And then this is the thing with the, with regards to design. The overall shape is about the same. Yeah. But the overall approaches for each an individual component is very different. Yeah. Um, and um, I mean, general shape, the way that they function, short of the wobbliness and uh, <laughs> the constraints yep. we gave ourselves, yep. was, I mean, really, what made these two components so so close yet so different. Yep. So um, I think the one of the only things left to do now is, is to try it out. And we decided actually at the start before the whole challenge thing was um, we will test our opponents <laughs> scooters instead so yeah. and we'll find out how well we did and okay well let's go let's uh yeah let's let's start now let's let's go for it oh. it's very fine control Root the handle. <laughs> I, I yeah. I think yours is perfect when you lean your weight a little bit. But the more time you got. Andy's scooter can't turn. <laughs> it turns, then just throw it away. I'll meet you guys inside. Okay, so. That was a bit of an experience, like yep. an adventure of sorts. Um, there are definitely things that we learned about uh, about scooter riding. Scooter building. Oh, oh. Actually, no. Scooter it's a, building and it's about riding and the scooters. Riding. Um, um, both scooters have unique quirks, <laughs> um, and I think that's the best way to describe it. Like, yes. Here. 
this guy probably has the decking that's too long. And so it tends to yeah. bow a little bit. Yeah. So you have to stand on the back, the back and the front to pre-tension the deck. <laughs> yeah. Um, but otherwise, you can go really, really quickly on this scooter. I mean, um, mine compared to Eugene had a very stable base. The deck is extremely stable on this guy. Uh, it's just... I can't really turn. <laughs> Unless I like ride a specific way where we put the rod up and turn it. Yeah, it's not the smoothest turning experience. Yes. Um, and so, you know, as we were, you know, as we were walking in here, one thing I said to Andy was, I'm gonna shrink this thing to about there. Yeah. And that should probably get rid of most of the deck bowing problem mm -hmm. that I was seeing. Um, and I realized that this scooter, the one that I'm holding, yeah. it's like it's designed perfectly for my weight. I mean, unintentional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I think if this was to go on somebody that weighs a little bit more than me, the, uh, the deck as it is will probably snap in half. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was a bit nervous standing on it because I do weigh more than him. I was absolutely fine. Even though it might not look like it, but I do weigh more than him. And going on it, I was a bit scared because you have to actually focus on balancing a lot um, and just making sure the tension is right for a for the middle mm -hmm. or or if you put too much then it starts blowing like this and snapping and I, I was scared of that and in conclusion i'm going to say i'm going to wrap this up because what a scooter war video this was because that scooter andy scooter <laughs> doesn't look all that refined but it actually is really stable like I'm yeah. pretty sure you can zip in a straight line really, really quickly. And vice versa, I think because of the material choices that I, mm -hmm. I took on, the MDF board, yeah. there's a no-go. Like at a very minimum, <laughs> we need to go with like plywood yeah. or something that gives it strength. Or you can go with PLA as we saw from mine. Yeah. We can probably combine both the scooters, like the best parts of each, best yeah. of both, both worlds. So we did, you know, we did say at the beginning of the intro that, uh, or, or did we? No. Maybe we didn't. Um, but the whole idea behind this scooter war is at the end, we're going to combine the best of both features. Yeah. And I think the goal is to build an electrified scooter. Yes. And we're going to get the motors, we're going to get some battery packs, and we're going to just combine all the good parts and mm -hmm. make something that is sturdy. Take the best parts, the shortened deck or whatever Andy did with the deck, yeah. um, the rest of the components that I have, and maybe put that bearing in the front because like both of these yeah. wobble, the, like the handles, they all have quite a bit and like it's just lacking a bearing inside the neck uh, of the scooter so if we can just get a bearing that will take on majority mm -hmm. of the load i think that will all go away yeah but i think we successfully kept most of our build under 25 dollars uh mine was actually more than 25 dollars just because of the sheer amount of pla used printing in, in printing um yeah mine was just a little <laughs> over 25 yeah. And most of that cost is actually just in the tubes and the, and the aluminum yeah, that I bought. The majority of mine was in PLA and equate to probably $35 worth of PLA on this. Yeah, that's um, why I don't think you should print everything. That being said, my 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 deck is still more sturdy than his. So. Fair, fair enough though, there's a secret. There are two rods inside his deck that you guys don't <laughs> see. So, you know, I think like overall... The, I think it came out pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a success either way. I mean, a lot of learning had to go in on Andy's side to get yeah. all the Tinkercast stuff done. And for me, it was just about ideating on how we can print this thing the most effective way. Yeah. Right? Um, and how to limit printing and mm -hmm. utilizing existing parts. And I think that should be the takeaway, at least in this video. Yeah. The following video that will be the electrified elect uh, scooter. Now, we'll explore electronics and all that stuff, but and a whole new design combining best of both Yeah, models. maybe I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let us know in the comments below uh, whether or not you like Eugene's design or my design, um, or if you guys would like to try it yourself. Um, and if you guys do, remember to post it underneath and show us as well. That let would us be, know, yeah. yeah that, would be, that would be great. I'll um, probably do like a social media update on shortening the deck and seeing what yeah. happens. So if you guys are interested in what happens mm -hmm. with that, 
um, you know, follow yeah. us on the Twitters or something like Twitters that. Twitters or just the uh, Tinkering Community where you go to our website and we'll probably put up some follow up on yeah. maybe change the design. I don't think I can change mine anymore because I'm literally out of design juices. I may not change <laughs> anything. I may just physically shorten the deck uh, yeah. on mine. So. You know, okay. maybe it's worthwhile maybe even just posting the files on just, yeah. for, just for kicks so that you yeah. guys can have access to it. If you guys want to modify and tweak it, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Uh, they'll be available. Mm -hmm. So remember to subscribe and click on the bell button so that you always receive notification when we release a new episode, whether or not it's Tink Chat, Tink Makes, Tink Tech. We always love uh, to see you guys and um, hear from you guys. So remember to subscribe and then comment if you have any comments on what you want us to build or like us to build. And then um, there's also, I think that's everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Short <laughs> of going on to the next project, yeah. the next uh, Tink Makes video, perhaps we'll see you guys there. Yep, so. Okay, cool. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye.